Three generations of women once living on the streets of Stockton are now back together under one roof, hoping to live a life away from drugs and alcohol. They are part of a program at the Gospel Center Rescue Mission. It helps end drug addiction and puts them back on track. CBS 13's Carlos Correa is in Stockton tonight with their story. Underneath a bridge along March Lane and I-5 is where 58-year-old Barbara Aguilera called home for years. It was also the place where she first used heroin to forget about her worries. The, forget about the pain, of the physical pain and the emotional pain of being out on the streets, losing my house, losing my family, losing everything that I worked so hard for. Aguilera's daughter, Lindsay, was also living on the streets in Stockton. She became addicted to methamphetamine and even used during her pregnancy. After Lindsay's daughter was born, the courts told her to clean up or she would lose her parental rights. That's not something I was willing to give up. So, scared. yeah, so it, it scared me into um, being able to surrender um, to, to get clean. And um, that was the first time I walked into these doors. Both women, along with seven-year-old Serene, ended up here at the Gospel Center Rescue Mission. They are three generations currently enrolled in programs to help get them back on their feet. There are many people in our community who live on the street. Leaders at the center say only a few have the strength to walk through those doors. We have these women that come in broken, some, you know, with CPS cases or from the hospital or, or different places, and they're broke. They have no future and we're able to help them to love themselves so that they can find their future. The center offers counseling services to women and men, an opportunity to develop work skills and a second chance at life. We don't always see success. There's, there's women that come back, you know, three, four times before they get it, but when they do, it's all the better. It's amazing. Both women have been sober now for the last year. And through these programs, they say they've learned to live again and plan to start looking forward to making, new, to getting new jobs and possibly even a new home. Best